Okay, moving on to our fifth bout of the evening here on this another spectacular tie fight league. If you've just joined us, you've missed out on three first round knockouts. The latter of those knockouts, bout number four. Probably a new record here in Tide Fight. Has to be. Surely. I mean, uh, I remember there was one a uh, while back, but I'm not sure it was actually filmed live on TV. But the Tide Fighter taking on a, a, a Myanmar fighter. He went in for the hand tap and then teeped his opponent in the face immediately. I mean, that was also a knockout, so I'm not sure <laughs> if that record was beaten there, but <laughs> we'll have to have a look. Okay, introducing first for your second female bout of the evening, Luptan Pine Pacific. She is 15 years of age from Saraburi province here in Thailand. She stands at 160 centimeters and has a professional record of 43 fights, 33 victories, one loss and nine draws. Previous two fights here on Thai Fight, both been victories against Gail Ganda and the very first Thai Fight League, number one, she defeated Yelly. Yeah, we haven't seen Yelly since, I just realized. Oh. And now introducing her opponent fighting out of the black corner. Her name is Pet Lai Phon. Pet Nong Ki. Her real name is Niki Na Plak 23 years of age, 60 centimeters tall from Si Saket province in the northeastern part of Thailand. She has a total of 43 fights, 32 victories, and 11 losses. Now you can see the tail of the tape for this match up. Interesting to see that Luptan has 33 victories with just one loss and nine draws on a record. Almost makes me think that this girl could potentially have fought left way in the past. I have actually seen Pet Plyphon perform on RWS before. She won by a head kick knockout against a fighter by the name of Kao Sawai. But we do have to say that Pet Plyphon, she did come in as a last minute replacement. Luktan was meant to take on Tidapon to begin with. Your favorite. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the next coming of Sanchai right there. <laughs> the 15 year old sensation. But bless Pet Plyphon, her gym mate, for coming in when she needed to. Yeah, we uh, we hope that Tidarat makes a full recovery. We can see her again sometime on Thai Fight. Tidapon. Tidapon, sorry. That's right. Remember the name. I always remind viewers at home. Of course, Pet Life Foden coming from a gym called Pet Nongki from Buriram, or in Buriram, I should say. Nongki district, a very famous district for producing some of the best Muay Thai fighters in history. I mean, we've got Nam Kabon and Nam Pon, Nongki Paoyut. Of course, Nongki Paoyut, one of the most famous gyms in Muay Thai history as well, especially if you're a fan of the golden era of Muay Thai. The gym owner there had some sort of a resemblance to Don King. Really? <laughs> yeah, his, his hair was growing <laughs> really upward. Going up instead of down. That's right. I mean, they called him the Don King of Thailand. And in fact, it's just a little bit of Muay Thai history for those that, uh, Are that love the golden era. As many do, it seems, still. Definitely. I see a beautiful white group here from Luktan. As uh, Pep Life on watches on. We've seen some a larger foreign contingent now coming to watch Thai Fight League, which is great to see. Of course, everybody welcome to come. We're located here at the Bitech Convention Center, right next to the BTS station, which is known as the Sky Train. Bang Na Station. And for those that actually want VIP ringside tickets, just contact Aaron. <laughs> he will sort you out immediately. You know what? I would. Honestly, I would. Just contact me. I don't mind. I'll do my best. I really will. Exactly. Just show us your YouTube name, so then um, he'll, he'll sort you out. I do like money as well. Okay. <laughs> Fifth bout of the evening. And the second female bout. Just joking there. White corner, we have Luktan Pine Pacific. In the black corner, we have Pet Pai Phon, Pet Nong Ki. And the referee in charge is Wun Yong Peng Wook. To the ringside, Bukit Ram Prayun. Chai, uh, Hong, and Tawon in Ubon. I'm excited for this one, especially to see what Pet Plyphon can do coming in as a last moment replacement. And Luke Dan, another fighter that I'm very interested in, especially 
due to the fact that she's just 15 years of age. Nah. Wouldn't be an exciting matchup against Tina Paul, but we could definitely <laughs> rebook it for another date. Let's see how she does against uh, Black Python first. Only one loss on her record. I mean, that is just superb, especially in Muay Thai, especially at the age of 23 or already. And believe me, Pen Pai Fon competing in the provinces, and it's not easy to have a record like that there. But no, it's actually Luptan who has one loss on the record. Also, a tough place to fight this as well. Oh, looking for that right hand and finding it, does Luptan. Oh, excellent clinch control by Luptan. Holding on to the head of her opponent, just digging her head into the chin of Pen Pai Fon. I mean, such a dominant position there. Yeah, looking for that right hand, taking some inspiration from Armand Maradi, it seems. Yeah, Maradi, perhaps a new tie fight record. Definitely a tie fight league record, though, when it comes to knockouts. Or fastest knockouts, I would say. It has to be. Surely. Not a tie fight league for sure. But in the big tie fight, I still have to investigate that one. I'll come back to you soon with that. Right into the mix section there. Look, Pan. Stalking her prey right now, Pet Python having to fight on the back foot. Yeah, look that very aggressive. You can already see that she knows the Thai Fight League style. She knows what expect is expected of her in there. Pet Python, of course, she's competed in other three round contests before, but not with Kat Shug. I believe this might be her first fight with Kat Shug, wrapped around. Good point, Harry. Out of risk, yeah. There from Luktan. Pet Python looking to engage in the clinch. Luktan is looking very strong here. Oh, great, perhaps looking for the knockout early on, but can she keep this pace up? Oh, left and a right, knocking the head back of Pet Python. And that will do it for round number one. Active Indoor Sports Entertainment, Crop Wong Joy, Chi Bai Tech, Did Road Fai Far Bang Na. You can see the highlights from round number one. Highlights will all be off Luktan Pine Pacific. It was a pretty comfortable round there for the 15-year-old Phenom. She was the aggressor of the two fighters. Pet Python defending for the majority of the time. She defended well, to be fair, considering, like we were talking about, that she is a late replacement. But right at the end of the round, she did eat a beautiful one-two combination from Luk Pan, who I'm sure is going to try and build on that right now in round number two. Well, if Tidapon was hoping that her gym mate, Pet Pai Fon, would uh, soften, <laughs> soften Luk Tan up, uh, she's got another thing coming. Seems that way. Good knees to the mid here from Luk Tan. You can see Pet Pai Fon trying to out-wrestle her. Yeah, Pet Pai Fon is never going to out-wrestle Pai. Uh, at it. it's just an impossible. I mean, she's got that strength, she's got that power. Luktan so far looking much better on the inside and on the outside. This is the next section there from Pet Python. Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon. I mean, it was much better there from Oh, solid right kick. Luktan was a little bit eager to get back into the clinch, and she did have to eat that solid kick to the next section. Not too bad from Pet Python here, oh, but she does eat an elbow for a trouble. Oh, good tempted high kick there from Pet Python. Seems to have woken up in this round. Yeah, it really has. I mean, Pet Python, I imagine, is very much used to fighting the five rounders in the provinces, and that's why she started off the first round very slowly. Good point. But one thing's for sure, she's definitely come to life in this round. Interesting that one time, she, she's the one now who wants to engage in the clinch. Yeah, I don't think it's quite a good idea at the moment though, especially with Pet Pai Fon's long limbs. Sure it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like it was necessary as well, because she was having such success fighting on the outside and pushing back Pet Pai Fon in round number one. Yeah, I mean, she put a boxing combination together very well, and it seemed like Pet Pai Fon had a hard time dealing with those, just like there. Oh, attempted right hand once again there. I think she heard what I was saying from Luck Time, and again we go back into the clinch. Both fighters connecting with these. Perhaps Luk Tan just getting the better in that exchange. Yeah, for those at home, the straight knees to the midsection score a lot better than the side knees. That was a beautiful knee, and that's hurt Pet Pai Fon. And here's Luk Tan now going in for the kill. And down goes Pet Pai Fon. 
Jamie Litton, a phenom, 15 years of age and taking it to the 23-year-old. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm sure Tina Port is watching this match for, at home, thinking, my goodness, how do I fight against this young lady? Oh, and here come those beautiful hands. And that is it. That should be it. No, it yeah, it is. Referees decided to call it. She oh, looked into the eyes of Pet Python, decided it was completely unnecessary for her to take any more damage. Muktan doing a fantastic job in there and taking this one by second round TKO here remember, on Fight League. Remember the name Lutan Pine Pacific. I mean, he's going on my hot prospects list right now. That was amazing. And it's only a matter of time that she takes on Tidaport. I agree. That match has to happen ASAP. Maybe we can book that for the big tie fight. Ooh, yeah, why not? Why not? All right, let's have a look at how she did it. It was that step in left knee that started it off. Pet Python was already out at this point, covering herself up. And for Luktan, it was just a case of continuing the onslaught and the referee doing completely the right thing. Getting in between the two fighters and saving Pet Python from taking any more damage. Congratulations to Luktan, Pine Pacific and her team here on Thai Fight League. We'll be moving on to our two final bouts after the official confirmation from our MC in the ring. Stay with us. Level Ganatsin got the winner by technical knockout. White corner, Luktan from Zalabuli.